Hi guys, this is Andrea from uh, Spot Home Barcelona. Today we are in the Gothic neighborhood. It means that we are in the heart of the old town, close to Plaza Real, in a very one of the oldest part of town. Really, really cool, full of bars, full of the most uh, infamous nightlife of Barcelona. Uh, it's a very little street called Escudellers Blancs, uh, one of the tiny streets of the na Gothic neighborhood. It's like a labyrinth, it's like a maze. The first time you're gonna get lost, the second as well, but then you're gonna know it by heart and uh, know how to navigate yourself. We are walking distance from Las Ramblas. We are actually really, really close to the Jamma Primero metro station. So virtually you can move uh, everywhere in the city very easily, okay? This is an apartment, uh, it's a shared apartment of five bedrooms. Today we checked one bedroom, which is a, a nice spacey bedroom interior, which is a nice thing because the street goes to a, a street, lots of traffic, especially at night. I mean, human traffic, uh, bars and, uh, and chats and, and light life. So being in the interior part is something really nice. This room is uh, spacey, as I said, it's like uh, bright to be on the first floor. Actually, I forgot to say we're on the first floor. Actually, second floor because on a Spanish notation there's a principal first and then the first floor. So let's say second floor. So there's good natural light. There's a little balcony and there's a nice uh, elevated double bed, uh, which it makes it also nice for a couple. So if you're a couple, consider this property. Let's go check out this apartment. All right, guys, this is uh, this apartment in uh, the typical structure of the Gothic uh, neighborhood apartment. So like a long corridor and with the rooms on the sides. Let's start here on the right. We have a, a, a bathroom. There are three bathrooms. This is the best one because it's got like this beautiful sink uh, marble original that the landlady restored and uh, used to put it here. And there's also a very nice uh, big mirror. The toilet is uh, here around the corner. And the shower is right here. Looks like a bathtub, but it's not. And uh, there's a, the shower here, all right? So it's quite spacing. And it looks like completely separated from the rest. And uh, also it's in like some sort of second level. Pretty cool. So this is the master bathroom, I would call it. And uh, let's go check out the rest of the house. Okay, well, this is a private room here. Here. There is another bathroom, okay, which is nice and colorful. And this is basically just a sink and a toilet. And uh, of course a mirror and a little window that goes to the interior patios. And of course a mirror. This is a shared apartment, so there's a nice useful indication for living together in uh, harmony. This is a nice bathroom too. It's got the tiles, it's got this beautiful uh, radiator that makes it like awesome for your towels in winter time when they get dry. In Barcelona is quite humid, so having radiator in the bathroom, it's quite a good thing. There is a sink and there's also a little shower here. I like all these little colors, this window. It's all wood, so it makes a nice little bathroom. And uh, here we have the kitchen. The kitchen is nice and uh, welcoming. It's uh, fully equipped. It's got all this kind of stuff and you can see for cooking. Again here, house rule for good sharing. It's got uh, gas, okay? So the gas for um, heating system and gas for uh, cooking, of course. A giant coffee pot, microwave. I'm sure that it's got like all the stuff you need for cooking, yeah, and uh, all the storage. All right, so it's a nice share kitchen with uh, some uh, uh, storage space in here, big fridge, window that goes to the interior patio so you can fry your sardines and everybody's okay. All right, so this is the area where the bedroom is, which is like, a, there's a sort of like a corridor here um, with other private bedrooms. And this is the bedroom, which is now currently for rent, which is nice and cozy. It's like spaces, there's a sofa here. This is a sofa bed, so okay. Uh, so the solutions are two. There's a sofa bed that like, uh, the lady told me that like a previous renter loved it and used it also as a bed and uh, this bunk bag I have here for people that likes bunk bags. 
uh, like this on elevation so uh, you have the two options uh, there's a desk here and there's another desk over there so it's nice uh, the landlady says that like uh, it's a very good room for couples actually I would say so there's two desks there's plenty of space there are wardrobes okay so and uh, nice huge mirror shelvings and uh, the best feature i think is this little balcony which is makes it a uh, room in the gothic quarter uh very nice why because uh, it's a very tiny street with like some of the most iconic bar of barcelona so like there's an amazing out life out there but of course uh if you want to sleep <laughs> you need a little bit of silence so now apart from this radio this this is uh, uh on the rest is pretty quiet here. This is the interior patio. There's a hotel right in front, so we're on the back of a hotel. And this is the typical, uh, very typical landscape of the interior patios of the Gothic Water. Okay, so I am pretty confident that at night it's uh, nice and silent. All right, and so this is balcony is really really nice for your little glass of wine al fresco in the summer nights. Or coffee in the morning before starting your day good as I say plenty of shelvings and plenty of say so ideal for one person or for a couple hi guys this is Andrea from uh, Spot at Home Barcelona so this is uh, a nice uh, five bedrooms apartment in the heart of Barcelona in the Gothic uh, quarter in the Gothic neighborhood we are on the second floor uh, of a big chef flat I hope you liked it and thank you for watching the video